What's up everyone? Sean Count Blagrath here today with a rant. And <laughs> I don't want to be too repetitive with my content. I don't want to constantly be beating a dead fucking horse into the ground, but <sighs> god damn it. I tried to make this video a couple times and I wasn't satisfied with how it came out, so please bear with me. As I attempt to come up with something coherent for this. Um, originally this was just going to be about the Graveland incident that everybody fucking knows about. And if you don't, I'll explain it real quick. Graveland was going to play their first North American show in Montreal at the Mesa de Mords Fest, put on by Sapark World Productions every year, and goes off without a hitch, until some, uh, Antifa crybabies decided that we're not going to allow this shit to happen and decided to make threats. So... What are my thoughts on this? Well, take a fucking guess. I'm so sick of Antifa. I really am, and I'm sure a lot of you are sick of us, uh, black metal guys bitching about Antifa, but God damn it, they keep giving me a reason to go off. Now, the, here's the thing with Antifa. I would be with them. In terms of, I'm against racism, I'm against sexism and homophobia, all that shit. I think all those are terribly fucked up ideas. But Antifa always likes to take it one step further. And this is also going to tie in with just kind of the SJW culture that has kind of reared its head into metal. Uh, including, I'm going to do a little thing about metal sucks, uh, dot com. Uh, because they really pissed me off recently. Now, with this whole Graveland incident, the thing is, is these Antifa fucking morons know nothing about Graveland. They don't know that Graveland itself is not an NSBM band. They're just a plain black metal band with a lot of pagan themes and uh, shit like that. And there is some nationalistic tendencies, but nothing that is uh, neo-Nazi related or white power or whatever. Um, in fact, uh, Rob Darkin has stated many times that he keeps his personal beliefs out of it. Is Rob Darkin uh, NS? He has said some of his political views kind of lean towards that. And uh, that's whatever to me. Uh, as long as the music's good, I'll keep listening. Now, the thing is with Graveline, though, is I want to say this year or last year, he actually denounced a lot of shit on his uh, personal Facebook page, uh, stating that he doesn't care who listens to Graveland. And it's kind of a similar thing that Nocturnal Mortem did, although Nocturnal Mortem straight up uh, disavowed their previous shit with the... Uh, National Socialist black metal stuff, uh, they just straight up, like, said, we're very fucking sorry, basically. Whereas with Graveland, it was more of, look, we're cool with people that, of different colors liking our music because our music is meant to be enjoyed by everyone. And to me, that shows that they're not a racist band. Sure, some of them may have some fucked up ideas, but um, extreme music... It, uh, attracts extreme people with extreme opinions. Uh, there's actually a quote in uh, the Grand Belial's Key Streetbot and Absurd Split. I believe it's absurd that's on that split. Uh, there's a line in the booklet that says uh, extreme music and extreme ideology are two sides of the same coin. And I can completely agree with that because this is the type of music that attracts really extreme philosophies and, uh, and ideologies and people that have an interest in the extreme in general tend to gravitate towards this style and um, I feel like it's something people need to get used to but with Antifa the thing is with these fucking idiots is they didn't do their research to begin with and then instead of you know creating like a petition and submitting it and being like look we don't want these type of people in our city whatever um instead they decided to rally in front of the venue and do bomb threats and throw smoke grenades and full-on assault attendees of the show 
here's why I think Antifa is absolute fucking cancer is for those reasons right there and the fact of the matter is they are using fascist tactics in the name of anti-fascism so these fucking people are hypocrites and if you can in any way shape or form convince me otherwise I will give you everything in my fucking room because you can't there's no way you can justify using these tactics as under the banner of anti-fascism and claim to be anti-fascist while you're using fascist te uh, techniques. It doesn't work. You're fucking backwards and you're a fucking idiot. And that just pisses me off to no end because a lot of people traveled from around the world. This was a very diverse show. And um, it was meant to attract people from around the world and people from around the world came it was pretty much a multicultural event in that sense. People from Latin America, South America, Europe, fucking U.S., every single place, pretty much, people flocked for this show because it was such an amazing lineup. And uh, because these crybabies didn't like one band, they had to throw a temper tantrum and use threats of violence against people. For not believing what they do. And the best part is. Is they're doing it. In the name of freedom. And justice and all that. When in reality they're. Uh, censoring people. And silencing people from having a voice. And uh, I am a firm believer. In freedom of speech. And that goes for any. Fucked up ideology you can think of. You have the right to say it. Now. I understand freedom of speech doesn't equal freedom from consequence. But the thing is, is like, <laughs> Graveland is not an NSBM band. So in that sense, this whole thing is not justifiable. Now, I mean, if they were booking like, I know Aryan Blood doesn't play live, but a band like that, or Der Strumer, for example, I could see where people would be pissed off. But the one thing that annoys me too about a lot of these these uh, PC and uh, SJW types is they act like the moment you listen to an NSBM album, like you can be a completely normal, well-adjusted person that has no racial, uh, that has nothing, uh, not a racist bone in your body. You can be just a normal, well-adjusted, non-racist person. And they act like the moment you put on a NSBM album, you want to party like it's fucking 1939 and join the KKK and start hanging some blacks. That doesn't happen. I have never once wanted to commit a hate crime, and don't even get me fucking started on that shit, that's a different rant. I never once committed a violent act or anything like that because I listened to an album of any type. If I ever got into a fight, it was because someone was a fucking asshole to me and I knocked him out or something. Whereas, I've never even heard, in all reality, of someone uh, changing their political beliefs because of NSBM. It's usually people... NSBM attracts two different types of people, uh, from what I've seen. There's the people that just don't give a shit, that the music won't affect them at all. And then there's the people that are already fucked up, and are already having the NS beliefs and our Holocaust deniers and shit like that. Those are the type of people that will be gravitating towards it. And they're just preaching to the choir. So in all reality, NSBM being a propaganda tool and acting like it's going to create all these huge fucking problems within metal and within people because of its very existence is absolutely fucking absurd. <laughs> Get it? The, like the band? Absurd? <laughs> fucking kill me, please. I want to die. Um... But continuing on, though, and as I said, I was going to talk about Metal Sucks at the beginning, and it kind of ties into Antifa and whatnot, is Metal Sucks, in my opinion, used to be a really good website. And recently they put up this hilarious manifesto. And hey, if you want to put on your website that you're proud social justice warriors and you're not going to let bands uh, get away with saying anything... Um, that's perfectly fine. It's your website. Go ahead. You're you're in the driver's seat. Go ahead. Crash right into the fucking telephone pole. I don't care, man. 
crash this fucking airplane right into the sea. No skin off my back. If anything, seeing your website go would be welcomed. But um, it wasn't so much that they were like were in their manifesto, and I'm not even going to bother linking it because I'm not going to give them the fucking click money. Um, they basically stated that we're proud social justice warriors, and we've had death threats against us for stating this, and we're still not going to back down. Now, the thing that they left out about the death threat thing, and this is a side rant that really annoyed me about that, is the fact they said that um, we got death threats because of this. No, you got death threats because you put Destroyer 666 on blast with absolutely no facts to back up what you're saying, other than them thanking a person in a booklet of an album released in the 90s. And in turn, your moronic readers... This is the part that blows my mind. In the name of anti-fascism, once again, they went out of their way to find out the band members and their girlfriends and wives and shit like that and make death threats on them. So you know what Destroyer666 did? They said, you want to play that game? Fine. Here's these dudes' names. And of course they got death threats. And of course they use fake names because they're a bunch of fucking cowards on Metal Sucks. Now, do I think what they did was right? No. Did I find it semi-humorous that that shit happened? Yeah, because they got a taste of their own medicine. And that's the thing is, PC has turned, in metal, has like turned into a witch hunt where people are trying to find shit to bitch about and shut down and silence. And to me, that's not what metal is. To me, metal is freedom. You can say whatever you want, and they're saying that Metal has roots in uh, more left-leaning ideologies. Metal has roots in freedom of expression. Sure, there's been a lot of left-leaning bands, and I would say a vast majority of what most people would say is like more mainstream entry-level type metal definitely has a strong left-wing uh, sort of vibe, uh, especially the political shit in the 80s with thrash metal. But with that said, that doesn't mean that right-wing ideology shouldn't be welcomed within metal. I welcome any type of expression within it. It can be anything from uh, Islamic ideas to uh, anti-fascist, if you want to sing about that. There's a lot of red and anarchist black metal bands out there, and even though I may not agree with those bands at all... Um, I still listen to some of them, and I still think some of them are pretty goddamn good, and uh, I don't have an issue with it. And I don't have an issue with right-wing ideologies either. Some of my favorite black metal albums ever are considered to be NSBM, like Goat Moon uh, with Variat, shit like that. Um, basically, the point I'm trying to make is, in my opinion, PC culture has really ruined a lot of shit, uh, especially stuff like comedy and whatnot. Um, but it's really starting to take a hold in, uh, in metal. And I find it very disappointing because the whole point of metal is freedom of expression. These people talk about freedom, yet they want to silence people and utilize censorship, which I think is total bullshit. And um, that's really all I got to say is... All these fucking PC people trying to silence bands are fucking scum. Uh, trying to shut down shows, especially by using means of violence. I'm also going to say this, too, about shutting down shows. I mean, I don't think I would be so pissed off about this if they would have went about this in a nor like a normal human would, which would be like phone up the venue like, Hey, you know who you're booking? I don't really think you should because... I won't come here again, and I don't really like this. Uh, if they would have went about it like that, I would be like, oh, that sucks, and especially sucks for uh, Martin behind the park roll because he's out of a lot of fucking money because of these people. And Graveland flew all the way from Poland to Montreal for absolutely nothing. Uh, same thing for um, a few bands. I believe McGuaw was playing that night along with Fortress and... Uh, which is my favorite fucking black metal band, if you don't know, and uh, Aosoth. The fact that those bands, like, traveled, sure, for us, it probably wasn't that far. They were from Quebec City, Montreal, not that far. 
versus like Aosop and fucking McGuaw and Graveland. What's the principle of it? The, their time was wasted. Martin's out of money. He still had to pay for those bands and shit. And um, all I gotta say about that is uh, full support to Saparkle. And I will be placing an order in Martin if for some reason you see this video. Cheers, thank you for putting out some of the best music and keep on doing Messed at Mort's. I will make it one of these years. I was going, I was aiming to this year, but uh, <laughs> good fucking thing I didn't because that last day was the day I wanted to see. But that's all I got to say about this, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give me your thoughts on this. I'm very curious to hear what a lot of you have to say. Um silencing people isn't right and just one more side note too uh, it's something mike c town brought up about uh i don't think it was death in june it was some other artist uh was shut down because they used uh ns like imagery used nazi imagery and uh even though they don't believe in it kind of like death in june uh people were pissed off about that and he was saying something to the effect of like well you use that imagery um you know you should expect that and I completely agree, and I do think that people should have been prepared for this. But at the same time, this is just absolute fucking bullshit. But I'm just rambling now. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.